Hello and welcome to Coaching Mains Calcs 101 episode 4. Calcs 101 is a series that is meant to teach you the basics of calcs in theory crafting in order to have a better understanding of one of the most important aspects of it. By the end of this episode, you should have a better understanding of enemies. Enemies are very important in the damage formula because they have two different multipliers. The enemy defense multiplier and enemy resistance multiplier. Today we will cover why level and resistance are so important. All the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below. Last episode we talked about damage bonuses and crit which were fairly simple. But if we follow the formula we can see that they are multiplied with the enemy defense multiplier and enemy resistance multiplier. But what exactly are these? If we scroll down right under critical hits we see enemy defense first. This formula might look a bit weird but it's actually very easy since you basically only need two variables in most cases which are the character level and enemy level. First of all obviously the lower your character level is the lower the damage and the higher character level is the higher the damage. But that's not only affected through stats also through enemy defense. In the enemy defense multiplier the character has a low level the multiplier will be lower and if it's a higher level the multiplier will also be higher. But we also have enemy level. Why is it that important? Well, enemy low level works exactly the opposite. If you are going to hit, let's say, a Healy Churl, which is level 50, you are going to notice that you will do a higher damage number than if you hit the same type of enemy, in this case Healy Churl, with the exact same attack, but the Healy Churl is now level 90. We'll see exactly how this works in the formula a bit later. Next we see that there are things that are a bit uncommon. They are multiplied with defense reduction and defense ignore. They basically work the same, they just have different names and different values. You can get this reduction from constellations or passive in Lisa's case, they are all listed here. And the defense ignore you can only get from C2 Raiden and C6 CI Miko. Though a higher value than defense reduction. Now let's try to implement this in our calculator. First we are going to set the parameters. Level 90 to Tau. And let's make an enemy tab here. And set level and make it 100. And that's basically what, everything we need for now. Let's come here to where we list our formula and say enemy def. Alright, now let's start. Equal. Brackets, very important. Don't forget them. And we get character level, reference it, plus 100. Now we are done with the top part. Let's continue with the bottom part. We are going to divide it with parentheses and again another one and do the character level reference by pressing F4 plus 100. We are going to do the exact same thing but with enemy level Again, the cell, reference it, plus 100. And now these are multiplied with uh, the defense reduction and defense ignore. But since in this case we don't have any, we are just going to do 1. And this is our formula. We can see that for level 90 character and level 100 enemy, the multiplier is 48. Now, if we have a lower level for the character, we are going to see that it is a lower value. And if we have a lower level for the enemy, we are going to see that it is a higher value. And that's why you do more damage on low level characters. Okay, but how do reduction and resistance work? Well, here is for reduction. And we are going to do minus, let's say 30%, like now here C2. And we see that the value is now higher. And if we come to defense ignore and do minus 60% like KIC6, we can see that it's even higher. And that's why these constellations are considered so powerful because they increase the damage so much. Now we'll drag it here and this is basically it with enemy defense. Simple formula, you just follow it and it gives you the multiplier. Now let's continue with enemy resistance. Again, this might seem a bit weird because it's conditional, but it's actually very easy to follow. If you, your resistance is below 0%, we 
we are going to do 1 minus resistance divided by 2. If it's between 0% and 75%, it's 1 minus the resistance value. And if it's above 75%, it's 1 divided by 4 times resistance plus 1. But what does resistance mean here? Well, it's the final uh, enemy resistance after all the buffs, debuffs or everything. For that you will need a base resistance, which is the resistance every character has by default, generally is 10%, but it can be higher or lower depending on enemy. Minus the resistance reduction, which is basically for debuffs like a 4 piece Viridescent Venerer. You soil the element and you get 40% resistance shred for that element, and this is where it comes in. Alright, let's try to implement that. First, let's set the enemy resistance here and make it 10%. And come down and make our formula enemy res. Okay. Now let's start. We cannot use the if function because there are multiple conditions and the if functions goes for a single condition at a time. So we are going to use ifs, which allows us to have multiple conditions and stuff. And now we are going to follow the formula and come to the cell of resistance, reference it and first say if it's lower than zero. And we are going to do one minus the resistance cell again referenced divided by two, exactly how it said here. Now we are going to continue with the part where it's between 0 and 75. But how do we make to have multiple conditions at once? Because you won't be able to do it normally like we did here. You can just do them both in the same. We are going to use the end function. This will basically allow us to have multiple conditions at once. And in the end function, we are going to do the resistance, referenced of course, uh, higher or equal to zero, comma, resistance again, lower than 75%. And this basically tells the is function to only do uh, the next value if the resistance is between zero and 75%. So after this another comma, and we are going to do one minus resistance cell. Okay. And lastly, we have if resistance is above 75% and we are going to do the formula right here. So we come and say resistance cell again, higher or equal 75%, another comma to give it the value of true and say one divided by brackets um, four times resistance plus one. And we are going to close the brackets. That's basically it. That's your formula. And now, let's uh, say for example, now we have 10%. And for 10%, we go here in the end function, because it's between 0 and 75. So if I hit end, enter, it should display 1 minus 10%, which is 100 minus 10%. And that's 90%. And that's exactly our multiplier. Now, if let's say we add resistance uh, shred from 4vv it will be 10 minus 40 which leaves us with minus 30 percent which goes here for uh, less than zero which makes it 1 minus minus 30 percent divided by 2 which is 1 minus minus 15 which becomes 1 plus 15 and it's 100 percent plus 15 percent which makes 115 so if i come here and make it minus 30%, we can see that it's 115. And lastly, let's test for 75 or higher. If we have 75 resistance, it will come here and it will do one divided by four times 75 plus 100. That's 300% plus 100%, which makes it one divided by 400%, which is 25%. So let's make 75% here. And we can see that it's 75% and that's why high resistance enemy uh, get so little damage. Let's change this back to 100 to 10. Copy 
to the other attacks. And this is basically it. If you have questions or concerns, feel free to join the coaching maze discord at discord.gg slash coaching. For basic questions such as what is the best weapon for my character, you can visit our help channels. However, if you want to ask advanced questions regarding theory crafting, KQM has a theory crafting section where you can find a lot of theory crafters including myself. If you want to ping or message me directly, you can find my discord tag in the description down below. This sums up enemies. As mentioned before, the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below. Next episode, reactions.